let's talk about the event wishes <laughs> for the later part of version 3.5. Travelers can... Special program. All right. The 3.5 live stream. There's actually no uh, title for it yet. Because we'll see when we, we watch it. Albedo's here. So I'm assuming he's part of the banners, but let's just find out. Oh, dear creature. Why do you bow down? For fear oh, of the no. For power that you covet. Is this more dangerous? I've never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? You have a troubled look on your face. What happened? I can't take What's going it. on? I think that he might have seen you. Fate has not granted you the right what to enter that? this place. The greatest that was the ice herald. Should never live to remember. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Let's get it on. Oh boy. Oh my god. A full on metal. Just punch him. You're dead meat. He just punches and kicks. Oh. I'll make every Mika. effort to navigate us safely and report intel on the enemy. Oh boy. <laughs> Precision strike. What? <laughs> There's a crossbow? Let's keep going, team. Wow, this attack animation is actually kind of sick. Yep. The return of Windblue. Hi, right? Why is this humble windmill such a great view? I mean, what? it's understandable. It must have been a long time since you last came to Mondstadt. Because it oh is the gosh. true great Vayu Viastra. That's no it. way. Think you've ruined Sumeru's reputation in Mondstadt beyond all hope of repair. Oh, they didn't change his voice. <laughs> oh, it's so wholesome. Wow, I was waiting for Kale to actually come to Mondstadt, and they delivered. They delivered. Dane Slav is back, more Chasm stuff, more sad Haley Trail stuff. What's up, everybody? I'm Amber May, and I voice Amber Dia. May. And to match Albedo's long and official sounding title, I'm going to introduce her as <clears throat> Sumeru's legendary Aramite mercenary, the Flame Mane. That, True. That sounds really cool. I like that. Why don't we kick things off by starting with our first new playable character for version 3.5? Dia! Woo! Oh boy. Starting with Dia. Let's go! The rumor is true. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's taken a while, but she is finally Ayaka. here. That's right. What was that symbol, by the way? We mercs have one simple rule. Whoever oh my pays god, the he most is your new boss. I'm done. <laughs> the Deshret Claymore. Let's get it on! You asked for on, it. Man. Wait, what? I thought, I thought that was the burst for a second. No, that's that. Obviously, that's the burst. But was was that did did, did she have a flip phone? That looks Do cool. Do they have phones in Sumeru? <laughs> kind of no. It's it actually her trailer, makeup but... box. <laughs> she uses it to keep her makeup fresh. You know, even when she's out on the job. I love in how fact, she just punches and doesn't even use the claim. for a chance to go shopping for accessories with Candace. Interesting. So she's it, got a more like I want to say kind of looks like she does exactly what Albedo does. I feel like Pyro. that's not really a common thing among like Merc types, you know? Right. Yeah. Did you did you see oh, her I punch see. stuff? <laughs> punch Dia stuff. wields a claymore in combat and carries a pyrovision. She uses fiery attacks to leave enemies smoldering in her wake. Literally smoldering. Ooh, fiery. Yeah. Just like her. <laughs> totally. In battle, Dia uses her elemental skill to create a fiery sanctum field. When an opponent within okay. the field takes damage, it'll unleash a coordinated attack, dealing AOE pyro damage to them. Nice. Yeah, so that's Looks like Albedo. this ability will be really good for swapping characters and creating elemental reactions. Also, active characters within this field have their resistance to interruption increased, 
and when such characters take damage, a portion of that damage will be mitigated and taken by Dia instead. She's so brave. You Wait, know, what? I'm kind of worried that Dia could easily find herself in a tough spot. Ah, don't worry too much. There's a limit to the amount of damage that Dia can take for her teammates. Besides, when her own HP is low, she can also rely on her own passive talent to recover HP. Awesome. Sounds like Dia's pretty tough. And she has boundaries, oh. which is healthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she is well, kind different. of a legendary mercenary. I think that comes with the job. All right, let's I move on to I'm... her burst. Yeah. When Dia unleashes her elemental burst, she so casts sick, her man. claymore aside and enters the blazing lioness state. Rawr. Epic. <laughs> While in this Jesus. state, Dia will use her fists to unleash quick attacks on her opponents, dealing Put considerable pyro damage. When the skill's duration ends, she will finish it with a stylish flying kick. Ha! <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, nice, <laughs> right? And last Wait, but not whole... least, she has an exploration oh, talent. During the day, which is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., the movement speed of party members is increased. Yeah, oh, that, Rosaria. That makes sense, lore wise. Oh, it's Rosaria, but for the daytime. She's the strongest mercenary from the desert. I guess keeping the pace up even under the scorching Say six sun to is eight, just yeah. another day on the job for her. Totally. So it's Rosaria, Everyone but daytime. Everyone might be familiar with her strong and bold character, but her closer friends know Story that quest. after. Good. Question. Okay, so oh, event wishes for version 3.5. In the yeah. early part of the new version, both Dia and Sino good, though, will be available gonna get more with their own event character. wishes. Oh, and uh, as a reminder to our travelers out there, Dia will not be an event exclusive character. After the version 3.6 update, which to be clear is the one after this upcoming 3.5 update, Don't say it. she will become available in the standard wish. <laughs> and as for weapons, the five star claymore Beacon of the Reed Sea Ooh. will be available it. in the version 3.5 oh, no. weapon event wish. Ooh. I Why? know. Oh, oh, oh and, Faruzan, um, finally. Faruzan's very own finally. hangout quest will also be added in version 3.5. Oh, why? So why if they do travelers it? Travelers are interested why in getting to know more about one of Sumeru's oldest why researchers. Why are they doing that? Then There's gotta you be a definitely won't want to miss this. In the hangout, Travelers will not oh, only be no. able to see more about the differences between the academia's various schools of thought, but you'll also get to know more about Faruzan's personality and background. I've been she waiting to hear that for a while. She's such an interesting character, Farazan. so I'm sure her That's hangout bog. will be equally entertaining. Be sure to check it out. Oh, so the oh, series is starting now. Okay, In so now we're going to get In version 3.5, travelers can also expect an all-new Archon quest titled Kari Bear, Ooh. which will continue our story as we search for our sibling. In this quest, travelers will not only meet Kaya and Sumeru, but will also be joined once again by our mysterious friend, Dainsliff. Ooh. Ooh yes. Oh, it's a okay, oh, so it's uh, a traveler chapter. If I remember correctly, oh, shoot. Kaya just got is also a descendant of Conria. I don't know, I'm just curious what'll happen if, you know, those two meet. Or Guys, don't, don't Ooh, say too right. much. Stop. That'll be interesting. Also, saying too uh, much. what was it? Also, so travelers will find themselves okay. facing a powerful new Abyss Herald as well as a new Black Serpent Knight. That so be looks... careful. Oh, that's a, that's a knight? Oh, so everything gosh, got a sound that so made scary. it even worse. Why can't he be the Black Serpent friend? <laughs> I don't know, it that just feels like cool, every though. time Conria like pops up in the story, we learn a little bit more about the world of Tavat. Huh. So what else? The Ice can Herald kind of looks like, like the same as the other you Herald. No, I can't say much looks more about exactly the story. The okay, you guys ready? Because we finally oh. made it to Mika. Woohoo! I'm not sure if everyone remembers Mika. this young member rising through the ranks of the Knights of Avonius, but we have seen him before. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. I remember he was the one who read the Grandmaster's letter during Vine Lacefest. Aww, he kind of looks like a little prince. Grandmaster kind of cute. Letter. <laughs> Verifying our current position, right. measuring distance to target area. <laughs> His voice All right. so good. <laughs> I've recorded the terrain <laughs> conditions. Love the crossbow. Wait, he's. Oh, I thought he was a bow cover or a catalyst. That 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 was definitely not what I was anticipating. Leave the wounded to me. And he has like a number on him too, like a like the huff set. Who gave this child a crossbow? <laughs> that's that's what I want to know. I mean. I mean, I guess since he was deployed as part of Grandmaster Marker's expeditionary force, it, it was him. I don't know. 
But anyway, his Love exceptional the, performance the helped him gain the Grandmaster's trust, and he even taught him a couple of things. This training no doubt helped Mika develop a certain level of combat prowess, even if he himself huh. wasn't aware of it. Ooh. For example, even though swords tend to be the weapon of choice among the Knights of Avonius, Mika uses That's a spear true, and a crossbow, which is a yeah, result of his combat instruction with Grandmaster Barca. His mentorship and focus on flexibility helped Mika find a combat style that is more suited to a little guy like himself. Huh. Oh, I wish Fix they would have like, bit. yeah. Introduce the a weapon for him. seems to think outside of the box, and having a mentor like him will definitely be a big asset for Mika as he continues to grow. For sure, for sure. All right, let's check out What's Mika putting his variety of skills hey, to use buff. in combat. Hey. As a support role for the Maybe. Knights of Avonius, Mika has learned a variety of methods for assisting his teammates in combat. When he uses his elemental skill, he'll attack Ooh. the enemy with his crossbow. Okay, I want Increasing him. his teammates' attack, attack speed, speed and yeah. physical damage. Heck yeah. I want him. And when he uses his elemental burst, Mika recovers HP for his teammates and gives them a special status effect. Want to guess what it does? And that is... What? Tell us. This status causes teammates to regenerate HP whenever their attacks hit an enemy. Ooh, that's oh, helpful. Genius. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, no, Mika spends a lot of time working in the wild, that's, that's and not, he's developed that's not the necessary kid, survival honestly. and adventure skills. When Mika Ooh, is on the team, that's the location well, I mean, of nearby resources we already got unique to Mondstadt so. will display on the mini-map, increasing the team's ability still, to find necessary resources while adventuring. Wow, yeah, I can see he has a lot of support skills. Yeah, yeah it's I, always I'll good go to for have Mika, a reliable honestly. member on the team. Uh, I like his kit. So, let's talk about the <laughs> event wishes for the later part of version 3.5. Travelers can expect to see Kamisato Ayaka and Shenhe returning with I mean, three-run Listen, I'm happy to see Shenhe. I'm happy so to see Shenhe. So if you'd like to add Mika to your but team, what? then you are definitely won't want to miss this. Great. And they put him We've on the second half. We've already covered a lot of content, so let's take a quick break here before we dive into some other version 3.5 reviews. Sounds good. It's time for another redemption code. Everyone ready? I did not and see that coming code at incoming. all. Redemption code. Are you serious? Cryos, yeah. Double to me. Turns the other characters in the team were like, oh, that's true, yeah, Chi Chi. Bro, what are they? I mean, listen, I'm very happy to see, um, that's a cool art too. Really happy to see Shen He. It's been a long time since we've seen Shen He. So I'm very happy to see Shen He, but like, I mean, you're gonna, you have Mika all over the place and then you're not gonna put Eula in the, they even showed Eula in the, this, this really is a debate. Now I see why you were saying you were confused. I am, uh, I got no words. They don't, there's no Eula with Mika being sold. He's on the second banner. Ayaka got her skin the last patch and now here she comes. Ooh, that means it's Mid Splitter and Calamity Queller though. That's actually, that's a Paul weapon banner. But what the heck, man? I don't know. She's on standard banner. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Welcome back, everyone. Next, we'll be covering the events oh. coming our way in version 3.5. As you can see, the main event will Play be more? the Windbloom Festival. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Ooh is correct. Oh, in boy. Floral Pursuit, travelers will need to continuously collect bloom balloons to increase <laughs> their score. After collecting a set amount of balloons, the next area will unlock, and once you've collected a specific number of Wait, bloom balloons in the are final you area, this? a ring of pursuit will appear. This is Touch the light. ring to no. leave the area and complete the challenge. And in each Hold area, travelers will also this? encounter airsots balloons that pursue you. If you're caught by an airsots balloon, you will lose one pursuit point and be returned oh, to the shoot. start point of that area. Ooh. Mm. Oh, scary. So, so excitement probably is need to uh, avoid those. Ooh. And the travelers will be able to enjoy floral pursuit in single player mode or tackle in challenges along with their friends in co-op mode. I, th I thought I thought you would because 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 the next thing is a rhythm game. <laughs> it's called Ballads of Breeze. This time. Travelers will be able to choose from oh, three different instruments you and want. use their instruments of choice to play through the song challenges. Nice. And will that actually this. affect I like the, the sound one, yeah. they hear in the game mode? Yep. The instrument they hold and play will be different. Anyway, next oh, we have another event also taking place in Mondstadt called Spices from the West Northerly Search. That's right. Some of you may remember that there was a Sumeru scholar we had once when we one. were in Liyue. 
Just because Apparently her research gave the, the free, attention the free of coins Lord Sangama Bay. Next event, we will be heading back to the lands of Sumeru. Again? For those of you who remember the Beast Tamers tournament, this next event is related to that. However, the format Why? will be pretty different from what you might expect. Because the Wisdom Orb is still in its stages of theoretical research, it might be a while before our next competition. I see that one coming. Okay, but have you considered that I want it now? I know, but don't worry. To keep discussion alive and the competition Surprise, fresh in everyone's mind, so the soon, organizers have just put just together happened. a new event to spread the word. They purchased the rights to Theater Mechanicus in Sumeru and incorporated oh. some fungi elements to design a completely new game called Fungus Mechanicus. Hmm. Seems they're putting a lot of effort into promoting the competition. That's okay, right. I thought it was the exact so same thing. So what will the like, rules be on. like for this event? I'm going to tell you. In Fungus Mechanicus, we will be controlling pieces that look like fungi, <laughs> aptly huh. named huh. Little Fungi. Okay. Our enemies will be Mechanicai, which <laughs> wow. I'm sure many of you have seen before. The Little Fungi will automatically attack the nearest Mechanicai, and hmm. travelers will be able to select the Little Fungi and control their movement or order them to attack a specific target. During the challenge, Why are they we'll attacking need to the actual our fungi turns? and defeat all the mechanic guy to clear the stage and receive rewards. Hey, wait, did you say we're gonna go up against the mechanic guy that we were controlling in the previous theater mechanic yeah, what event? What's wrong, Koi, huh? What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? They were our friends. Look, they're attacking your little fungi now. Oh gosh, you're right. They need to die. In addition to these events one... in Mondstadt and Sumeru, the Ooh, upcoming okay, version like will also include the Vibro Crystal Verification this Challenge. This is also event. a repeat, but an engineer from Fontaine has arrived at the outskirts of the chasm. In addition to the events we've already mentioned, Let's go. version 3.5 will the... also be featuring the classic <laughs> Leyline Overflow event, nice. which will give travelers the chance to yeah, stock this, up on character it's, it's experience books stuff, and more. I'm sure many of our viewers are pretty familiar pretty with this much event. Like nothing that's it's new, super honestly. helpful for those. In version 3.5, a oh, limited time heated battle mode will be available in Genius Invocation TCG, Elemental Dice. So, the number of elemental dice required. Eula and Sara? Uh, uh, somebody dropped the ball. To play the first card from Hello? your hand every round will be reduced by two. <laughs> <laughs> also, okay. the number of elemental I dice required to Eula use the Sarah first character point. skill each round will be reduced by one. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, and Kokomi, too. The I pace of the game think will be much faster. Yeah, I like it. Well, I hope all our Genius Invocation fans will enjoy look, it. Last but not least, we have a system-related update. <laughs> uh, I think you'll okay. like this one. <laughs> After the version 3.5 update, the game will be adding additional rewards for completing Archon quests. Upon completing oh. each Archon quest, Travelers will receive one intertwined fate, along oh, with a variety boys. of other rewards. Once We're the update getting is some complete, rewards. travelers can view the tour guide feature in the Adventurer's Handbook to claim the corresponding rewards. Yay! More That's intertwined good. fate! And just don't forget to claim it after the version update. I, I kind of do that sometimes. And with that, let's get to today's last redemption code. Redemption code! Sounds if, good! Uh... I wonder why they're doing that all of a sudden. I mean, I appreciate it. That's cool. But yeah, three or three wishes. Yeah. Like, I'll take it, but interesting. Version 3.5. It's just so See weird to get new Bye, new guys. characters Bye. during, like, region-focused events. Smoldering in her wake. Literally smoldering. Ooh. Oh, fiery. my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Leave enemies smoldering in her wake. Literally smoldering. Oh, no. Ooh, fiery. Why? Yeah. Just like her. <laughs> totally. In battle, Dia uses Are her element. Serious? Just like her. <laughs> totally. Pushes In battle, back, Dia so uses her elemental skill to create a fiery sanctum field. When an opponent oh, within the let's, field just, let's just hope that was a skill issue on the uh player's takes part. Damage, it'll unleash demo. a coordinated attack, dealing AoE pyro damage to them. Oh, he didn't do nice. it there. Shoot. So Looks like this ability will be really good for swapping characters and creating elemental and showing reactions. showing off Ganyu with Also, it. active characters... Oh, that's actually perfect for Ganyu, because it looks like there might be a delay on... Kind of like how Albedo's, like Albedo has not that long of a delay. Albedo's is actually kind of better, but... So, I don't know, like... After looking at what she does and the fact that they're, like... Looking at what she does and the fact that Haya was putting her on standard immediately... I just, I don't know why, I don't know why, I don't know why they're doing that. 
Especially because we don't have a Geo character on standard yet at all. We don't have a Geo character yet. So it's just like, you would think they'd wait for that, but they put a second Pyro character on there first. I just don't know why. Hey, maybe down the line, Dia will be like an insane character, so they want to put her on standard. Surely, right? Tonight got put on standard banner, but he was only put on there because he wasn't, or he was a new Dencho character. So, like, that made sense, right? And he's actually a pretty darn good character. Um, but this, I don't really understand Five star claim why. Increasing his teammates' attack speed and physical damage. Heck yeah. And Heck yeah. So the physical damage part obviously is kind of catering towards you. The physical damage part is catering towards Eula. But what I'm going to like about him is the attack speed. Because the attack speed might make for, like, fun comps. Like Ayato and... Uh, Scaramouche, just like seeing how fast you can attack with them. That's kind of the main reason I want him. And when he uses his elemental burst, me. Mika recovers HP for his teammates and I mean, gives them a nice little special help too. status effect. So, let's talk about And the this, this is just nuts. I did not see this one coming. This is quality though. I mean, Eula should have been here just for the sake of, you know, it's a mod side event. There's Mika here as well. It's kind of like, he kind of supports her with the phys physical damage buff. Like, she should have been here, you know, logically, she should have been here. But I'm not mad at this, though. Because that's a great weapon banner you got, and then also Shen has been gone for 15 years. It's her first rerun ever, so that's that's cool. So I'm, I'm happy to see that. Like, I, I, I'd rather it be her than Eula. But that, that's just me, though, you know? So, yeah, I mean, it's it's great. Like, it's a great banner. I just, the timing for it was kind of odd, you know? Was really thinking. There's no mod stat character besides Mika. That's it. That's your only mod stat character. And there's like, there's not even any Inazuma in event. There's like, there's nothing. There's no Inazuma thing. There's no Inazuma like little small event. There's no Ido thing. There's nothing. But they were just like, yeah, screw it. Let's just put Ayaka and Shenha on there. Why not? They really went your wallet. Like, if you think about it, the banner we have right now has Hu Tao and Yelan on it. Two people who work together exceptionally well, right? So it's like you got to pick between the, the two of them. They're both here at the exact same time. You already have Hu Tao, which is a really good character. You have Yelan, who's also a really good character. If you don't want Yelan, there's still Xing Chou to pull on. So there's still Xing Chou as well. Xing Chou and Yelan both are like busted supports for Hu Tao. So you got that, and then on top of that, too, you got the Staff of Homa and Aqua Simulacro back-to-back. -back. So this banner's already crazy. And now the following one is Shen He right next to Ayaka, the person who buffs Ayaka. Oh, goodness. At the same time, not even like, oh, one's on the first half, one's in the second half. No, both at the same time. So if you don't have either of these characters and you want the dynamic duo of Ayaka and Shenha, good luck. That is, that's messed up. Like, it's it's cool, but it's like, geez Louise, man. People have no time to say <laughs> Dia after 3.0. Dia will point. not be an event exclusive character. Wait. It says she won't be, let, let, let's see what the Koi says. After the version 3.6 update, which, to be clear, is the one after this upcoming 3.5 update. Oh, I didn't notice that the first time. So it, it's not like Tainari, where after the first, after the current patch is over, she's on standard. It's, she'll be on it after 3.6. That's weird, actually. So it won't even be like the, the patch after the one that she's on. It'll be the one after that she will become available in the standard wish weird and as for weapon i'd say highlights are definitely this number one archon quest uh, uh as we search for our traveler archon quest that's how number one second i'd say for me personally is farazan tang out been waiting for that for a while waiting to actually meet farazan that's two uh three is just honestly the surprise banners or really just Shen He's return. That's the, the third hype moment. Archon Quest, Farazan Hangout, Shen He finally returns for her first ever rerun. And yeah, Kali comes back to Mott's that. I'd say those are probably the, the big highlights for me.
Oh, Verbo Crystal, that's fun too. I like that one. And some new TCG cards too. Finally get Kujo Sada. Heated Kujo battle Sada. mode will be available in Genius Invocation TCG. And Eula. So, so Eula didn't get to join a banner, but she did get a TCG card. So if anybody says Eula was not in 3.5, it's a lie. She was. Just not in the way you think. Like get at least one copy. And then maybe, hey, maybe that's why they did this. Maybe you'll get... Maybe when you do your 50-50 loss, you'll get Dia, right? And you'll keep on getting Dia over and over again. You'll get C6, and then boom, there you go. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just imagine Dia was going to be, like, some sort of, like, super powerful, like, you know, the strong fighter as she is in the game, you know? But, hmm. I mean, she has the burst that, that looks pretty sick, too, but, you know. We'll have to see, I don't know. And also, I think that possibly when it comes to Dia, just kind of like a quick assumption, you know, way beforehand, I think she'll maybe be somebody who sees some play or sees more popularity later on, like down the line. Maybe, like, there'll be a reason for, like, all the damage and mitigation stuff. And I guess logically it makes sense because she's, like, a bodyguard, right? So it's like she would take the damage for you as a bodyguard. Um, so it, logically it does kind of make sense, I guess. Like she takes the damage for her other teammates. But you have to be in the ring for that though. So that'll be interesting to kind of test that out too. But we'll see what happens in Fontaine. Maybe there'll be like a clear cut reason why Dia's kit is the way it is, which it can happen like that. Usually when it comes to a five star, usually later down the line, uh, they like, they, they blossom later on. So, you know, maybe that's, that's, that's like my hopium. Maybe in 4.0, there'll be a reason why Dia works the way she works. 